Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Arduino Software IDE on Raspberry Pi 2 over Raspbian Jesse operating system. Now before we dive on the installation part of installing Arduino IDE software on Raspberry Pi 2 over Raspbian Jesse operating system, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Arduino and what is Arduino IDE software. Arduino is an open source project that created microcontroller based kits for building digital devices and interactive objects that can sense and control physical devices. The project is based on microcontroller board designs produced by several vendors using various microcontrollers. These systems provide sets of digital and analog input output pins that can interface to various expansion boards, terminals, shields and other circuits. The boards feature serial communication interfaces including universal serial bus on some models for loading programs from personal computers. For programming the microcontrollers, the Arduino project provides an integrated development environment which we are going to install in this video, which is based on programming language named Processing, which also includes supports the languages that is C and C++. The first Arduino was introduced in 2005 aiming to provide a low-cost, easy way for novices and professionals to create devices that interact with their environment using sensors and actuators. Common examples of such devices intended for beginner hobbyists include simple robots, thermostats and motion detectors. Arduino boards are available commercially in pre-assembled form or as do-it-yourself kit. The hardware design specifications are openly available allowing the Arduino boards to be produced by anyone. Adafruit Industries estimated in mid-2011 that over 3 lakh official Arduinos are being commercially produced and in 2013 that 7 lakh official boards were in user hands. Now we talk of some more specializations, it is a single board microcontroller, it is having no operating system, its CPU is Atmel AVR, ARM Cortex-M, Intel Quark, memory is SRAM, storage is Flash, EEP ROM and graphics are none. And if you look at the official website, it is arduino.cc slash en slash main slash software where I am using that is the latest version that is Arduino 1.6.12 which is the latest version. So if we talk of the software, the Arduino project provides the Arduino integrated development environment which is cross-platform application written in programming language Java. It originated from the ID for the languages processing and wiring. It is designed to introduce programming to artists and other newcomers unfamiliar with software development. It includes a code editor with features such as syntax highlighting, brace matching and automatic indentation and provides simple one-click mechanism to compile and load programs to an Arduino board. A program written with the IDE for Arduino is called a sketch. The Arduino IDE supports the languages C and C++ using special rules to organize code. The Arduino IDE supplies a software library called wiring from the wiring project which provides many common input and output procedures. A typical Arduino C C++ sketch consists of two functions that are compiled and linked within a program stub that is main into an executable cyclic executive program. Number one is called setup. A setup is a function that runs once at the start of a program and that can initialize settings. Loop a function called repeatedly until the board powers off. After compiling and linking with GNU toolchain also included with the ID distribution the Arduino ID employs the program AVR dude to convert the executable code into the text file in hexadecimal coding that is loaded into Arduino board by the loader program in the board's firmware. So if we talk of some more details of Arduino ID, its developer is Arduino Software. The latest stable release is Arduino 1.6.12 which was released on 21st of September 2016 about 16 days ago and it is written in Java, C and C++. It is cross-platform which means that it can be installed on Windows, Operating System X, Linux and even on Raspberry Pi which I am going to demonstrate in this video in just a minute. Platform is IA32 x86-64 ARM and type is integrated development environment and website is arduino.cc. So let us dive into Raspberry Pi and you can see that I've already remote established our connection and the Raspberry and Jesse has already been installed. So let us first of all start with the installation part of Arduino IDE. So let us give this command sudo apt hyphen get update as you know that it is very important to update the repositories before you start anything. So let's update it. So it will not take much time. So all the packages you can see that are updated and uh, in a couple of seconds we will be greeted with the command prompt again.
okay so now what we have to do is to type just simple one command that is sudo apt hyphen get install arduino and this simple command will be able to install arduino studio on raspberry pi and you can able to program your whole programs which you can install on RD, arduino ide over raspberry pi also and you can even connect your arduino wire to the raspberry pi and make some good and cool projects So depending on your net connection speed, it is about 15 MB of download and uh, I can say that with less than 1 or 2 minutes or less than 3 minutes, you can download the entire part and it will be automatically installing and configuring onto Raspberry Pi. So almost 50% of download has been done because apart from installing Arduino, it will be installing some Java components, some AVR, libc and other repositories which will also take some time. So it's a very powerful software to program Arduino and uh, the details have already been given to you. So Raspberry Pi supports everything. So after installing, I will let you know what to do now. Let it first of all gets installed. So almost I can say that we are almost on the verge of completion. there we go so almost it has taken me about two minutes at a speed of 132 kbps to download and it will be taking a uh, 30 seconds or 40 seconds to install the Arduino studio on Raspberry Pi so GCC is called the open source compiler which is required because it is already written into C and C++ so GCC compiler is the only thing to install and update Raspberry Pi So it is unpacking the AVR library C files. So it can take some time because it is somewhat a heavy software and uh, we are using a $25 computer so bear with it. So Arduino Studio is regarded as one of the most important studios in order to configure any type of uh, you can say Arduino device or any shield or any lily pad also. So you can see that step by step everything is being unpacked and after that it will be setting up. So after that how to show it I will tell you. So now it is unpacking the latest version, Arduino. So manual and database is being updated. So you can see that even with 1 GB of RAM, it is taking some time and might be it can take some less time in compared to Raspberry Pi 3 but Raspberry Pi 2 is more stable uh, hardware so I recommend that to if you want to work with Arduino and Raspberry Pi in a combined manner I recommend to work with Raspberry Pi 2 B plus model which is a 1 GB model so now anytime we can be finishing with the setup so it is setting up everything and you can see that it has set up, up AVR Dude, AVR Lipsy, Arduino Core and even Arduino.
so some library files are being set up yes so now you can see that it has been done so now what you what you can do is that you can just connect the HDMI to your monitor and you can straight away connect the keyboard and mouse and you can work with the digital TV with HDMI or either you can follow my video in which I have already told you that you can use a computer and you can use a connector that is called HDMI to VGA and make it sure that you can use a computer monitor but even if you don't want to in the to uh, work on Arduino either using a digital TV or the computer monitor what you have to do is to install one more software that is sudo apt hyphen get install that is xrdp as I as, as I've already made one video of this and it is called the remote desktop connection in which you can have the live remote desktop of Raspberry Pi onto your computer so I've already installed it so I've just made you sure that it is already installed so what you have to do is to just go to your Windows and type this command that is MSTSE it is terminal services and give the IP of Raspberry Pi which is 169.254.1.1 it is an Ethernet connection or either you can give the Wi-Fi connection also so press connect and press yes so give the username as Pi and password as Raspberry so you can see that it has been done so click on programming and you can find that there is Arduino IDE so click over here so Raspberry Pi is triggering uh, and it will take some time to give it yes so now you can see that uh, the sketch is there and you can use you can connect your Arduino uh, to this Raspberry Pi and you can find more options with this so you can see about Arduino you can see this and uh, if you find tools you can click on board you can connect it with that so every board is being connected and it is supported with Raspberry Pi so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Arduino Studio and remotely connect or connect it to the main TV on Raspberry Pi 2 so do give this a shot do connect your Arduino Studios or Arduino to your Raspberry Pi. Make some cool projects. Thank you so much for watching and do like this video. Thank you.